Oh, did you? I was going to say, do you get... In I mean, David. Listen to me, darling. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. it should be getting sound now. Sure Are you sound. getting sound now? That's the question. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Pearl. Hi, guys. Hi there. Who's this talking? Is Tony B. Tony B. Can you hear us now, Tony? Anybody? Slow any? momentum is saying, "Hey, guys." TC Boone says, "Weather looks nice." Anything about sound? Can you hear Nobody's us? saying anything. Tia Rodriguez says hello. Yeah, Rand, uh, but no sound. Yeah, still no sound. Randy says hello from. Still no sound from Doug D. Good what picture, but still still no, no sound. sound from Doug D. Just now. Still no sound. Doug D. But yeah. it may, you know, it's delayed, and so yeah, maybe it's I think sound. it is because it shows sound. Slow momentum. Said, now hey, guys. sound. We got yeah. sound. Yeah. Sound. Yeah. John Bugs found sound. Yeah. 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 sound. Good job. Oh no, Bob. you guys are gonna want the notes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> so we're here in uh, Imperial Dam with some of our good uh, friends from the channel. You want to kind of tell us, kind of tell us, walk through and tell us how long you, who you are, how long you've been RVing, and what you think about boondocking. I'm Chris, and this is my husband Pat. We have that vehicle behind us, <laughs> and we've been um, on the road for since what? How March of 18. March of 18, and um, we've been boondocking for a couple days now, and we have good power. Yeah, we have uh, two. Uh, panels on top, on there? a yeah. whopping okay. 240 uh, watts, okay. and we have four AGM batteries with 840 amp hours, but we've been doing really well out here thus far. Somebody said the sound is too low, so evidently we need to speak up Let's a little. Let's speak up. That's all we got, we guys. Okay. Hopefully we'll just yell. <laughs> <laughs> sound is on. Good. How about you, Jeff? Slow what what are you, Jeff and Lori? Uh, hey everyone, my name is Jeff and this is my wife, Lori. We've been full-timing now for a year and a half and we have a 2004 uh, Monaco, well, I'm sorry, it's made by Monaco, it's a holiday uh, Endeavor. It's a 40-foot uh, Class A diesel pusher and we, like, mo like a lot of folks, we tow a, a Jeep Wrangler. We're new Jeep Wrangler owners and we, actually, we love it. So if you're not a Jeep Wrangler owner and you're curious about them, we think they're fantastic. Folks, give, give Jeff some love. The sun <laughs> is right in his eyes and he is not a happy camper. Uh, yeah, I'm a, according a, to Bob, I'm a sissy. He's so, a sad puppy. And uh, it's true, but it's hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, how much solar do we have? How much solar? Okay, he wanted you want me to ask, yeah, but ask him if we're getting sound. I got oh, sound is great. Oh, better. Yes. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, hey guys, yeah, in terms of solar, because I think Bob wanted to kind of give some information about share with you guys about some stuff. So, my solar setup is we have 800 watts, we have four 200 watt panels, they're mounted on the roof, they are tiltable. Uh, we have a Victron 100 slash 50, it's a 100 volt 50 amp MPPT charge controller and we have 500, roughly 500 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries and uh, this is probably our first real test on them. We've, uh, we've boondocked with them before but we've, surprisingly enough we've always been parked in the shade just because we prefer to be in the shade versus out in the sun. In those, <laughs> in, the, in those specific uh, situ situations. Lonnie Pate says, hi, Jeff and Laurie. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, hey Lonnie, very nice to, to, to hear from you there. But I, this is going to be our first test uh, for really running the batteries down low and seeing how quickly our solar can, can charge it back up. But Let us know if you're still getting sound. I saw a couple things about no sound. Let us, let us know, please, that we're not just sitting here flapping our lips. <laughs> Tony B says he loves the Jeep. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes, thank you very, very much. Robert Johnson says loves the sandal, or channel, excuse Sand, me. Don't sandal. Sandal. <laughs> well, I thought it was a. You're looking at your foot. Stop and tell me, what do you, tell us about how long y'all been boondocking, or how long y'all been RVing, and what you got for solar? We've been RVing full time since July of 2018. Solar, we just have a 100 watt uh, suitcase. We have a 2018. Canyon Star, the toy hauler version. So we've got a 10 foot garage that hauls his Harley and our e bikes, rad e bikes. And we also tow a Jeep Wrangler. Everybody right. has a tow. Do the Jeep wave? <laughs> Jeep wave. Jeep wave. And Bob, oh, there's a question. Wait a minute, I did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> there's a question. Um, Tony B 
No. Um, <laughs> Doug D wants to know what kind of batteries everybody's using. We've got four six volt golf cart batteries from Sam's Club. <laughs> yeah, Tony, yeah. his beer is Polish. Yeah, if you can pronounce it, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our, our batteries, they're made by Lion Energy, L I O N Energy. I, I don't think they're one of the pr premier brands. We, we try to save a little bit of money going like towards like the Battleborns or some other batteries. So uh, they have a uh, lifetime warranty, which was good for me. And they were about $100 less expensive for roughly the same, $150 less expensive for the same uh, power rating as the Battleborns, that's why I selected those. And so far we've been extremely pleased with them. Hey Dave and Karen, Dave and Karen from Our Endeavor, they're the ones that got us to start doing this live streaming. Yeah. They're gonna be going high in a, in a, live in a little bit. And Karen just got back to the coach, so. Oh, we're good. Good to have you guys, glad you found us. We didn't know if anybody was gonna find us. <laughs> what have you got? Y'all got, got a lot of batteries. Well, we've got four AGM batteries, each 210 amps, so a total of 840 amp hours. But of course, 400 and half of that 410 and hours, 20 usable. hours are usable. It's usable, yeah. yeah. Before we're down to 50. And Scott's got two. We have interstate. Two inter <laughs> two 12 volt interstate. Okay. Deep, deep, deep cycle. Deep, deep cycle batteries. Deep cycle. Yeah. Just what came with the rig. Yeah. So we've been here how long? Since Three? Friday. Seems like forever. Since Friday. <laughs> but it's been going great. We haven't had generators running. So we started. There's so here. much solar. Yeah, boy, that sun is so great. Yeah. Somebody's asking about the beer that Bob's drinking. I think it's pronounced Smith. <laughs> <laughs> or Jones. If Joe the or computer Jones. if Joe the computer guy comes on, he'll know what that uh, is. Yes. Maybe he'll let us know. You gotta ask Joe. <laughs> he's on. Is he? Joe is on. Hi Joe. And, he, and he's writing the name right back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got recently got two 85 watt uh, portable solar panels. And we've run, we've been here three days, run our generator maybe two or two and a half hours, and that's just for the convection of it. You've run yours a couple of hours. You had not run yours any. Mm -hmm. And you ran yours less than an hour. So we have, it's been really great. This yeah. sun is powerful. Joe yeah. says he's got 960 watts on the roof. Nice. And 600 AM hours of lithium. Yeah, but you're well, in Florida in this, under the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> you no good. Come back to Arizona, Joe. <laughs> About, maybe maybe you could take the laptop and climb up on my rig and show them. Oh, yeah. I, I went and made videos of, while you was gone of all the rigs and all of our solar and our dinners and stuff, but my iPad won't hook up. So <laughs> and I got a comment from Doug D. He says we're headed to Papalosa Road in Quartzsite in a week. Nice. We're going to all be, well, That's Scott, are y'all coming down there? Not the with the rig. But are you coming down or? We'll be down yeah. in. We're going to all be heading down there, there after this on next week. It's all debatable. this little torture weekend, you're not <laughs> sure. Pelosa Road, I think is how you say that. Yeah. Yeah. Go yeah. live with Bob. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not that far. A lot of uh, people boondock down there. Huh. The escapees, I think, do it. And Michelle King said, hi, Bob and Pearl. Good to see you all. Michael and Michelle from Kentucky. Hey, guys. Uh, hello. Um, there is someone, let's see. Uh, well, slow well, momentum. Wheeling with the Wendells and have eight battle born plus 10 panels. Lance likes the power. Wow. That'd be sweet. Karen nice. Whitehauser, so glad to be home with Dave. Glad you're home, oh, Karen. Karen. Hey. Very yes. good. Glad your mom's doing good. Yes. Last night we set up, uh, Pat has, Pat and Chris have a, what you call it, your camera? Well, we project, our little projector. Yeah, projector, and we put it on, I don't know if you can tell, on the side of his exploration vehicle. So we watch, we watch next exit videos <laughs> last night. Everybody fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> All in bed by five o'clock. <laughs> and Vince Hall says hello from Maggie and Vince Hall, looking to get on the road this summer, full timing, All right. and hopefully meeting someday. Maggie wants to know if you'll come and, em and help empty the house. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, where's it going, Maggie? Is it going in a uh, storage unit? I can do that. Yeah. Pearl will rent you a storage unit. Yeah, if Bob you want to really talk to somebody about those. emptying the house, you got to talk to the rest of them. I didn't do it right. No volunteers here. No. We got 83 people online. That's pretty good, 83 people to come out. How many, kind of leave us, if you've ever boondocked out in the desert, what's the longest you've boondocked without plugging into electricity. We've done it for seven days. That's the longest we've gone so far. 
You you guys, how about y'all? How long this is week? Not this much is, more than that, believe it or not. Yeah. yeah. With this vehicle, so, we did a week. Yeah. A week, um, seven days. So Joshua Tree last year. we're going to do yes. this video. We're going to be doing this for almost probably close to three weeks, the end of the month. So hopefully we're going to have about three weeks of boondocking with our little Delta portable power station that you'll hear more about. <laughs> if I get out of here with it, a couple of these yahoos are <laughs> Propane. <about> snagging it. <laughs> well, it looks just like the one that's in the back of my Jeep. Right now. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't seen yours lately. <laughs> Hello, Michael and Michelle from Kentucky. <laughs> Thanks for stopping and saying hi. So this always before we've had to run our generators four hours a day to have electricity. And I don't know why, because we haven't used the Delta that much. Ah. But nobody, Scott has got no solar. He's got one little panel about as big as my beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's got his hundred watts down on the ground. But y'all haven't ran yours. Man, that bus all. just came over me. Like. <laughs> I think the most we've been is about three hours. What? Total? That we ran total. Yeah. Really? That long? I and that's like three days. Not at yeah. one time. <laughs> Not at one time. Oh, okay. Because you haven't Within really the days. Running yeah, yet. no. Because we come out and get that Delta and take it back <laughs> in. <laughs> Lisa, got... Lisa Braden says hello, everybody. She says it looks like a fun group. <laughs> hello, Lisa from Southwest Florida. Uh, I got to tell you a funny story. Is probably a lot of you know, I got that 25-foot telescoping mast with a directional antenna. So I spent a lot oh. of money getting it all set up. I was having great internet. I was out here bragging to everybody about great internet. And Scott goes in and looks at my thing. I wasn't even. I didn't have any power to my uh, Wii Boost. Wii Boost. So the internet I was getting is just what everybody's getting. My so be nephew, careful what you're bragging on. My nephew said hello. Brian Cadell, hello. Oh, hey, Brian. And he also said hello from Bob's brother and sister-in-law, Diane. Are they on? Hello, you guys. I don't know. It, yeah, tell Steve Brian, to get on. Tell him to watch the commercials first. Yeah. And then go. <laughs> it's all about the money. <laughs> all about the money. Joe, the computer guy, says, for your information, the sun came out in full force today. Oh. But we, when you're in a campground for free all winter, you don't need solar. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Thanks, That's right. Joe. <laughs> Joe just started a new business. Uh, he's a He had a computer repair business in Las Vegas. Now he's in, I think it's bookkeeping. Huh. I, I hope you didn't build your bookkeeping business off of my expense spreadsheet, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the money. Hey, Joe, how's the humidity down there? Is it 98 degree humidity? I can't even hear him. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still working, Jeff. You you, you and Lori live in Los, uh, New York. Yes. And then you're out here visiting your daughter. Mm -hmm. So you're going to retire in August, or are you going to come back to, are you going to stay in New York, or are you coming to the desert? No, we're definitely coming west, so. We're, Not we're, necessarily the desert, just west. We'll be west. We'll be on the west coast for at least a few years, I suspect. We've always lived on the east coast all of our lives, so we know more about that. We, we really like the, the west coast. And, Do you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, last year, you was making some videos about you and Lori was hiking all over the country. Mm -hmm. You quit that. Is that, what's the deal with that? Why is that? Well, uh, we just. Just hadn't got around to we doing it yet. We still enjoy the hiking, and we really just put the videos up so our parents, our family, oh, could Aww. see them. So yeah. I, it's not really oh, going to be a cool, full-time thing. We enjoy hiking. You're supposed yeah. to say, I can't get Jeff up off his roof, <laughs> off the couch. And yeah. The couch, but they, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just through the holidays, I think, is why. But, no, we definitely want – I don't know if I'm going to do a, a lot more videos. It was, it was Too much work? No, I, I need a better computer, and I don't feel like buying another one at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> he does say he's cheap. Bill yeah, thrifty. Bill says hello oh, thrifty, I'm thrifty, sorry. Yeah, thrifty. thrifty. Cheap. Cheap, that's Bill a word Palmer she used. says hello, you all, from South Carolina. Ooh. South Carolina. Ooh. Hello, Bill. Hello. So how long have you owned the exploration vehicle? We've, uh, we've had it for about five, a little over five years. And you've uh, probably taken that to Africa and Australia. <laughs> and all of those. Around yeah. the world. Yeah. <laughs> Dro the drove it there. <laughs> <laughs> drove it there. Actually, oh. you know, we spent an extended you know, period of time in Toledo, Ohio, before we retired. But we've been on the road, like I said, about a year and a half now, full time. And we're from Ohio. And this is our first time really west of the Pecos, as I'll ah. say. And we plan on being out west at least a couple of years to see all the state parks. Oh, national have parks you got more confidence? You, I know you had oh, some wow. mechanical issues, but yeah. now you got it fixed. Yeah, it's running very, very well. Now yeah. it probably won't start after I said that. Yeah. <laughs> you plan on doing a lot of boondocking? Seems like your I solar's think, working. I think as we get more confidence in it, yeah, because that's what this vehicle's made to do. So Has and anybody said anything about how much they boondock? Uh, somebody said I, nine days. Nine days? And somebody else said five weeks. Oh, wow. Oh, who said that? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can find it. Okay. 
Five weeks. Oh wow. Yeah. We have really several fun. people that we've met out here that come here and they stay all. Didn't they say all? 180 winter? days. 180 like six days. Months. Right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is everything I thought it was. I imagined it would be when I was watching videos. You if know, you want to live on the moon, come on. This by. is it. <laughs> is that what somebody said? No, that's right. That's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it again. <laughs> Well, it rang so true. I just didn't see well, like yeah, how much look at this place. It feels exactly like the, what the moon would look like. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Computer Joe said it's 64 with very little humidity there in Florida. Ooh. Joe, it's 72 Two. here and sunny. With no, no humidity. humidity. <laughs> Loving it. Dave and Karen, where where are you guys at? You've got to be somewhere around Yuma, I think, aren't Is he you? Still in Quartzsite, oh. or did he leave Quartzsite? I thought he left. I thought he came down towards Yuma, hmm. but he may not have. I don't know. He moves around uh, everywhere. If y'all see, if he says where he's at, let us know. When you go by Welton, wave. <laughs> yeah, Scott and Tammy Perlin are are spending all of uh, most of the winter here in Arizona. We're kind of trying to figure out what to do for our winters. Scott and Tammy bought a purchased a piece of land there in Welton, and they're okay. building a pad, putting in a couple of hook, sets of hookups, and. Uh, a canopy thing to get under it's a perfect exactly what Pearl and I are looking for perfect for us obviously for, winter. for them too what do you think you guys will do after you yep. will you stay in an RV or do you think y'all will go back in a house I mean eventually I mean we right now we, for the next for the foreseeable future we really don't see us coming out of the RV yeah we may be doing this for 10 years I think that would be on the, the long side uh, of it but if we you could you, I think you had to right hit now. any walls to say if Absolutely. There's no reason for us to really settle down at any specific spot. How about spot you right guys? Now? How long do you think y'all? Just as, a while. As long as we can climb the stairs on the unit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if y'all see that. It's about Let's four or five feet up in the air. Come on. The yeah. Prevos. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we're just well, you know, wintering in Welton, so we can then go spring and summer, go tour, you know, go everywhere mm -hmm. else and see. But for just the winter months from like November until March or April. And there's a lot of people nice. in Welton doing the exact same thing. Yes, yeah. exactly. A lot. Yeah. And we could see ourselves doing something like that too. At some point, we something just, like that, an expression yeah. vehicle? Well, no, just oh. a home base. No, just yeah. a home base. <laughs> yeah, just a home months. base. Oh, 101. Just to relax. Cool. And, yeah, exactly. You know, we're close to family in San Diego. You know, you guys have your you know, son and daughter going to be in Tucson. So that would be something, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. you know, to do there. Yeah. And just relax, you know, yeah. and recoup. A couple folks from Maine are saying hello and that it's going to be 20 degrees. 20 oh. degrees! Oh. <laughs> you, you made us all feel better. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this sunshine that we're getting right now, then. Oh. Anybody else? Enjoy the coolness. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Charles and Abby said see you on the 11th. Oh, very good. Oh, nice. good. Charles and Abby very are going good. to come. Come here just a second. Ready to see come you guys. Come out and say hi to your daddy. He'll probably want to see this. Oh, oh yeah. Hello, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> And your mom, don't forget your mom. And your sister. Hello, mom. Hello, mean sister. Oh, <laughs> David. <laughs> Haley, oh, me. no. Oh, no He's just teasing, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> He's just teasing, sweetie. What else you got on there? So, Karen Lighthouser hanging out with Tom and Lori. Um, uh, Tom and Lori, all right. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Joe, the computer guy. Oh, I can take long showers where I am. No hard water. <laughs> yeah, you had to have something to rub in. <laughs> it, go, it goes on. Huh? <laughs> All you folks better clean you hot, um, your your hot water heaters. One thing I hate about the Southwest, so the the water, ah, the um, what is it, the anode, minerals. the minerals yeah. attached yeah. in your hot water heater mm. or your We've water heater. We've been here three heater. days. Oh, really? So, how many is taking a shower? Raise your hand. Two. <laughs> okay. Not for a month. That's why hey, we're we sitting down here, here at this Y'all are up me and that's the good thing. It's not my week to shower. Do you, do you want to take the camera in? I'll go do it. Everybody come with me. Let's go. So, tomorrow's shower day for everybody. We're going we're gonna to take track. We're gonna hose off. <laughs> hose off. <laughs> or jump in the lake. There you go. In the oh, morning. Got, uh, we got a hi from Judy Williams. She's in Waxahachie, Texas. Oh, yeah. It's 70 hi, degrees Judy. and sunny there, too. Ooh, so. Nice. We were talking about flying airplanes and stuff the other day. We had a good friend that was worked with us that was uh, from Waxahachie. Here come the bugs again. I didn't yeah. think that's a real I, town. I, it yeah. just doesn't seem like a real town, but it's a nice big town. I guess because huh. we didn't take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these little gnats are out. Mm -hmm. and so Pearl, is it hatching? Pearl Anna Anders says hi from Carson City. 
and she loves that you drive. She's, she wants to someday. Oh, you can do it. How many ladies drove to the campground? I did. <laughs> did you? All right, three. Yay! Well, you drove the Jeep. You drove a lot. I used to, but I haven't No, you drove, you drove the Jeep. Well, I did drive the Jeep. I drove. So we've got some women drivers here. They are all in. Jeff and Lori, he, as he said, they've got a 40-foot Class A. And Lori just comes. We flew right beside them with the drone. So when we do our next video, we got some good footage of her driving down the road. And do you drive yours very much? Not as much, but I have. Yeah, she's After, driving out of yeah. here. So Chris finally let me have the filmed. keys a while back. <laughs> I know you too. She drove yeah. all the yeah. time. Yep. And yeah. you were the the car I chase. Yep. yep. Yes. Cool. So someone wants to know. Birth here, um, Bork wants to know where we are. We are at Imperial Dam, in uh, just out just what ten miles. It's Winter so? Haven. It's called Winter Haven. Winter Haven. It's uh, ten yeah. miles north of Yuma. In California. Ten miles north of Yuma? <laughs> oh. Or less, right at ten miles. Yeah. I can see it. I'm from It's here. a beautiful, they've got, <laughs> when you come in, they have uh, probably six or eight fresh water stations. You can fill up your tanks. They've got four, five, six dump stations. Dump stations. And then they've got a bunch of refuge trash cans Ooh. you can take your trash down to. And then there's the Colorado River goes down. There's a big, it looks more like a lake than a river right a down lake. here. Yeah. It is for boondocking. This has got to be one of the nicest. And the roads are pretty smooth yeah. all the way in. <laughs> Ryan's so Imperial mom. Dam, long-term visitors. No showers. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Marine. He knows no showers. <laughs> and Berthia uh, in Quebec says oh. they have snow. Oh, oh yeah. It's cold up I'm sorry. Down. It's pretty, though. There's a lot of Canadians down here. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Yeah, if your neighbor's not home, they're probably right <laughs> here. Oh, Edith said she's single, solo driver. No, no issues. issues. You go, girl. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anything else exciting? I uh, know. Not right now. <clears throat> How many? We're going to go up to Quartzsite. Is anybody coming to the big tent show? Or did uh, David Karen answer where they was at? Did they ever get their location? Uh, no. No? Vince Hall says, uh, I hope there's no wind. When we were talking about showers, not showering. <laughs> no, you hope for a little wind. You, it's, it's no wind that makes it bad. And, and you're hoping to be upwind. upwind. <laughs> Someday Joe's going to find a woman to drive for him. Ah. We all wish you luck. Go Joe. fries in Yuma. You can find her. She's out there, Joe. Make sure she's a good cook and pretty, and then bring her on down to the camp. <laughs> So anyway, we just wanted to take a few minutes and join you guys. I can tell that Jeff's starting to flash his pretty little brown eyes. So that means we got to get him out of the sun. No, I've been doing this all the time. I'm just trying to look nice for the camera. Like I said. <laughs> you need to try harder. How did you let him slip one night? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Bob, he's been cruel like this to all of us the entire time we've been here. Well, what do you call us? Sissy. 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 Yeah, that was one of the Two things sissies. he called us. That was right after he kicked us a bunch. <laughs> I don't know if it was, it was the skirts we were wearing earlier or what. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with so the anyway, skirts? we wanted to just take a few minutes, let you guys know where we're at. We're going to probably put up a video here in a couple of weeks with some good drone footage and just some, uh, well, abuse that I've been taking for these two sissies. <laughs> Has anybody got any questions or anything or topics you want us to cover in the video, our next video? Let us know and we will fill you in on what's going on here. What was you going to say? Ken, Ken O from, Chad, er, has from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Nice. And he says, are you guys going to attend the RTR and court site? Hope to see you at the big tent. Mm -hmm. You may see us at the big tent. Probably not the RTR. It's a little different animal. Uh, yeah. But we'll be up there in about a, a week. And there's about five couples. We're gonna, Terry and Cindy will join us. and uh, Charles and Abby. Charles and Abby. And then this yes. group here. Minus us. Well, but uh, you said you'll said probably you come and join out. us. We'll drive out. Yeah. Good. But not with the rig. We'll drive okay. right past them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait. We want to thank everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully maybe I started to say you can meet us at Quartzside. We probably don't have enough room for everybody. So. <laughs> Joe the computer guy asked. says, ask Bob if that location is on my map. Every location, Joe, thank you so much. You've helped us out on so many things. I mean, but yeah, you reminded me of your map. 
And that's why we went and checked out. Every one of the places that we've been checking out is that is that from secret your map that he gave you that you shared with all of us? <laughs> <laughs> I've not given out one one thing. That's when you sold. You're selling that. <laughs> I did sell it. I did sell it. Show me it the money. Yeah, that's all he Let's said. Love you. He said, don't give this to anybody. But he didn't say not sell it. Yeah, he didn't I say see. don't sell it. I said, technically, you're okay to sell it then. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What? Somebody thinks you're Charlie Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Charlie says, vote. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people come through here, and they, they constantly are bugging you, telling them how cute he is. That, that is true. <laughs> it's my personality. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're going to sign off. Thanks.